Thank you, James. Janet Dawson. Thank you. I'd just like to um, comment on two points. I think in terms of the assurances that we've given about February, it is a question, as I said, of having the last um, elements of our work planned in, in my diary and in Mark's diary, and I've given you assurances over that. You know, what we can't ever mitigate against is if there's sickness within the team, for example. And, but at this point, the team is the two of us closing this audit out. Um, we're not the sort of people that you can just um, substitute in somebody else at this late stage of the audit because we're now on to the pulling together of all of our judgments, um, our key uh, conclusions, and reporting that so that I can sign in my own name. So it's not like, you know, if, if one of us was suddenly taken down by COVID that you could just wheel in another person to do that. So I just, you know, we are confident that we are well and planned and programmed and that we will get this work done by the end of February. I'm not sure that there's much more we can say on that point to satisfy the uh, committee members, but if they, if they can tell us what else they'd like us to commit to, then, then that would be helpful. Just on the fees, just to be very clear, we do not charge for delays, we charge for the work done. And the extent of the work required because of the significant issues that we identified during the audit or what is reflected in the proposed fees. And of course, we will be discussing those um, with Peter. They are subject to determination by the PSAA as a separate organization rather than the, the council itself. So um, we will need to go through that process. Thank you. Councillor Williams. Thank you. Um, one extra request in that case, um, can we ask you to wrap yourselves in bubble wrap and not get ill or harmed or anything um, and I would suggest that some form of uh, strategic planning is done in the event especially in the current circumstances I know that uh, for my business if I if I failed to honor my contracts on time I would have to find somebody else somehow some way I wouldn't or I would suffer consequences for that um, but on the fees in previous years there has been you might want to use your microphone to comment um, I can't hear, obviously, if you, if you don't have it on. Um, but uh, in previous years, the delays that have been the responsibility of the external auditors have been taken into account and discounts given, and that's what I'm hoping to see further, Chair. And then Ms Dawson may have something else to say. Just, um, it's not a term of our contract to deliver to a particular time. It's not part of the contract. And, and, um, we, we only sign the opinion when we can, we're ready to sign strategically in terms of replacing audit partners and audit senior managers. Um, you, you Actually, what you're referring to is a tactical change at the last minute, and we can't do that because it's about the judgment and the profession that's required. Councillor Williams. Chair, not wishing ill on anybody, but most companies have something in place. If I was to walk outside the, the council building and get hit by a bus, there would be a contingency in place for me being incapacitated. All I'm saying is, particularly in the middle of a national pandemic, I think it would be advisable going forward if some, some of that was taken on board. Um, I don't think that personally is unreasonable. Any, any further questions, comments? Um, I mean, I think, and this is, uh, I know because the the accounts aren't finalised, we don't have have a, a sad that that'll be issued at the conclusion. But the the two main uh, highlighted areas are a six point four million adjustment in the fixed asset register, and and a two point seven adjustment between between revenue and expenses. And I just like to say public confirmation that this this is not this, this does not have a cash impact on the council in terms of, of these adjustments are not to do with cash they're to do with accounting requirements yes that's correct and in, in terms of of the fixed asset it is an increase in the asset value because it just says adjustment in in, in the notes i believe that's the case Okay, there are no further questions or comments from the committee. 
I think uh, both. I'll repeat a comment that you made, Councillor Williams, that you know that this committee is is um, well aware and, and appreciates the hard work of both the auditors and the officers and yourself, Peter. Um, we are, I've said it before, we are almost there. But this this committee. And, and me as chair want us to deliver this by the end of February. This has to happen. And and if, if it doesn't happen or it, we start to get delays, heaven forbid somebody gets COVID, uh, then we will need, this committee will need to have a meeting at the beginning of March to understand the cause of, the, of, the, the, of the, any delay and, and to understand what this committee can challenge the, the, the council with to, to, or the auditors to, to make sure that we can resolve the issues and get on board with the timeline to deliver the update and the accounts by the end of the year and be, and be on top of things. Okay, uh, thanks to Janet for her report and the committee asked to, to note the report. We now go to agenda item six, uh, Regulation of Investigatory, Investigatory Powers Act 2000 RIPA. Um, May I ask Rory McKenna to present this item? Uh, thank you, Chair. Um, Chair, this is the standard report that the committee receive every time they meet. And I can um, simply advise committee that RIPA has not been used um, between the period, well, since the committee last met, but between the period March 21 um, and indeed January 2022. Um, Chair, I have nothing else to add at this stage, but happy to take questions. Thank you. Thanks, Roy. There's no questions from the, from the committee. Uh, the committee is asked to, to note the report. And we move on to agenda item seven, matters of topical interest, which is an opportunity for officers, auditors and members to raise any matters of topical interest. Uh, and I will raise a matter of topical interest before, before Councillor Williams does. So I had a meeting this morning with the auditors um, to discuss the audit, but also to discuss how they could support the audit committee going forward and in looking at development and identifying gaps or recommendations so that this com committee can be more effective and efficient in the work that it does in supporting the council and, and, and in that challenge to, to the council. So. I've, I've had a meeting, they are going to, and I've proposed that they come back with a recommendation and people we, con we contact, and we get that development in place after the elections. So for the, ne the next audit committee, we'll have a kickstart of here is a meeting with the auditors, and then let's see, have a meeting with external advisors as to what the accounts mean and, and identify the gaps of knowledge and, and experience within that new audit committee that comes across in May. I hope that, that meets with your requirements. Thank you, Chair. Um, I, I joked earlier that nine months is the um, average pregnancy. Um, Councillor Cohn has had two children since I first asked for us to have access to the toolkit. Um, so please see that there has been progress on that. It's, it's a shame that it's not this side, um, but uh, but yes, hopefully. I do think it would be good. We had we had some training about the importance of challenging and how if we weren't challenging, you know, auditors and, and officers would be um, concerned if we didn't challenge at the very beginning. And uh, yeah, it's it's one of those that I think more support, particularly the issues we've had going forward, is is very advisable. Are there any further? Matters arising that anybody would like to raise? No? Okay, so subject to, the, as we discussed in the meeting, um, the next meeting will be held on Tuesday 29th of March at 10 a.m. Subject to completion of, let's say, well, satisfactory completion and signing of the accounts in February. If, they, if it doesn't happen, then we'll have a, a, an interim meeting at the beginning of March to understand the progress or delays. Thank you, Chairman. Okay. Thank you, everybody. I can conclude this meeting. Thank you, everybody.